Hi everyone, my name is Cara Noble. I'm the National Relationship Manager for the Cancer Association Service Programs. I'm also a social worker. And we are so grateful for the opportunity that the Weekend Argus has given us to discuss women's cancers, specifically breast cancer, this Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Did you know that 1.7 million women worldwide are diagnosed with breast cancer every single year? And according to the National Cancer Registry, one in 26 women, so African women specifically, have a risk of being diagnosed with breast cancer. These are some crazy stats and even more reason for women to take better care of themselves. Unfortunately, at the moment, one of the biggest challenges we're facing is women coming through with late diagnosis. Women are picking up problems, challenges in their breasts, changes. For example, is it a leaking nipple? Um, something that's definitely not normal. You're not breastfeeding, you know your body well. And suddenly, if you press your your nipple, um, or you're getting dressed in the morning, you suddenly notice there is a discharge. This is definitely not normal. For example, maybe the breast has dropped and you're looking in the mirror in the morning and you're saying, wow, my boobs are looking a bit different. We have certain symptoms such as orange peel and, and orange skin where the actual texture of the breast is changing. Sometimes a darker pigmentation in certain areas. There are quite a few of these symptoms that women are actually experiencing right now and they're ignoring. We're calling anyone out there you know your body better than anyone else. And when you go to a doctor, a GP, or even your local clinic, you are the one that needs to explain to them and say, something has changed in my body and something is not right. Please, can you help me? If something has changed in your body, we're just begging you please to go and get it checked out. Do not ignore any symptoms. A lot of women, for example, start to find a lump under the arm. They are finding protruding lumps in their breast. And at the end of the day, these are symptoms of breast cancer that if are sorted and identified early can have much better treatment outcomes. A lot of women go through a difficult time with cancer treatment and it's because their late stage presentation makes it harder to treat. Therefore, we do encourage something called a monthly self breast examination. And despite the fact that a lot of women are going for mammograms every two years, which is fantastic, you cannot wait for a two year period to look or touch your breast. We need you to do so monthly, specifically after your period, just because obviously during that time as women, we know your body's all over the place, things are swollen and a bit tender, the same time every month. We really need you to focus on that. And that is one of the best, best ways that women can reduce their breast cancer risk. It's also important to know that if you have breast cancer in your family, you need to be a lot more aware, as young as even 25. If it is in your direct line, for example, your mom or your sister, your auntie or your grandmother, you need to please be a lot more aware. Encourage your sisters or cousins to please examine their breast monthly. And if necessary, when going to the GP for even flu or anything like that, ask them, please doc, have a check here, make sure everything is okay. I think the way the world is right now, women have so much pressure on their shoulders. We are really trying our best to work hard, keep it all together, the home, kids, neighbors, family members, parents, extended families, keeping our partners happy, trying to do well in the workplace. And unfortunately, women's health falls in the back line. Maybe it's number 12 on your list. I know some women say, oh, I've been meaning to book my pap smear. I've been meaning to book my, my, um, my mammogram. I haven't got around to it. And I think at the end of the day, this is something that we have to focus on. Everyone needs you. Unfortunately, everyone needs us to be the glue in families. And if you're not gonna take care of yourself, then no one's gonna take care of you. The wonderful thing is that cancer actually offers these services. So you can come to a cancer care center across the country. You can go to www.cancer.org.za to find your closest cancer care center, to book an appointment either for a clinical breast exam with one of our nurses or a pap smear. We are really here to support you at affordable rates. We know that what also deters a lot of women is the cost of the cost of getting checks, but cancer can help you at a much more affordable rate. For a breast cancer a clinical examination, we offer that at only 90 Rand. So you're more than welcome to see where's your closest cancer care center, as well as maybe where are we having screenings around the country? That cancer care center will be able to advise you further. It is such a passion of cancer as part of our education portfolio to really educate women about breast cancer and any other cancer really, but to just make them aware that 
if you can just pick up cancer early, and I think, unfortunately, it's the most, it's the cheesiest saying that's out there, but early detection truly does save lives. We know the lack over this period of people being too nervous to go and go to go and have screenings for them to actually go and have their mammograms or even to have the regular pap smears. We are very, very grateful and happy to know that so many more women are reaching out to us and saying, please, can I come for an appointment? Please, can I get checked out? And for months, and then in one and a half years, we know this was not happening. So we're encouraging you, if you have put this off, especially when it comes to cancer services, we have COVID protocol safe um, procedural rooms where we're able to actually offer these services. Our nurses are trained. They are so professional and fantastic. You will feel right at home. There's nothing to worry about. You're in very, very safe hands. Another way to get hold of us to find out more is on our toll-free line, which is 800 226 And we can then assist you further with making an appointment, if that's what you need. There are also women that have breast cancer and are also going through a very hard time. And cancer is very proud as an organization that we can do both, that we can offer early detection services for women as well as support women through their journey. One of our pride and joys is our cancer telecounseling service that launched last year during a crazy lockdown. And I think so many patients were going through so much they could not have access to psychosocial and counseling services. And we had to reach our patients somehow. Even now, a lot of cancer patients are not able to, they're not recommended by the oncologist and team to, to go to many places. They want them to literally be at treatment and go home for their own safety due to their increased COVID risk. But we had to figure out a way of how to help people psychosocially. And therefore, we can assist you. You can email us at counseling at cancer, that's C-A-N-S-A.org.za to book an appointment. You can call us again on our toll-free line at 0800 226 And you can also get hold of us on, on our Facebook, Cancer, the Cancer Association of South Africa. There are so many ways to get in contact with us to book an appointment. It's gonna be free, it's our cost, and it's done in seven languages. So if you are a patient, there are definitely services available. There is a wealth of knowledge at www.cancer.org.za from different options and coping. We have so much available, our excellent fact sheets with a lot of information on a lot of different kinds of cancers and different kinds of breast cancers. And as well for the ordinary person, for warning signs, for things that maybe you want to look out for. Our, our breast cancer section and women's health has a wide variety of signs and symptoms to look out for. We are really there to try and help educate the public as best we can and to support breast cancer patients and all cancer patients on their journey. Unfortunately, cancer is a very uncontrollable situation where cancer patients are definitely not in control of the outcomes or circumstances they're in. But we know that educated and well-supported cancer patient has a much better time during their treatment than one that feels isolated, alone, and has nowhere to turn. Another program that we actually launched last year is Cancer's Metastatic Breast Cancer Eye Survivor Program. This is a breast cancer that does not have a curative outcome, which means that breast cancer patients will have a longer term cancer with no curative outcome. So at the end of the day, they are managing their diagnosis and managing their life. Whereas a short term breast cancer patient will be experiencing breast cancer, will be eliminating cancer cells, and then will be in remission, which means they'll be cancer free. Unfortunately, metastatic or advanced breast cancer patients are on a very different journey, and it is a hard one. It is filled with a lot of pain and uncertainty, long-term treatments. They have a lot of challenges with mobility, getting around. Um, unfortunately, the pain part of it is actually one of the most challenging. And therefore, they needed support in a very different way. So basically, our I Survivor program was launched for any cancer patient as a 16-week support program. And then we actually had five of the bravest, most wonderful metastatic breast cancer patients help us turn this into a metastatic breast cancer version. You can go online to www.isurvivor.co.za and sign up. You will receive a 16-week um, full program of fantastic emails written by a nurse and survivor that will really help you cope emotionally. And at the end of the day, it's just another way that cancer is trying to help breast cancer patients at no cost. We know that there are so many financial implications to a cancer diagnosis. And unfortunately, a lot of people are struggling to pay 
fees for psychologists and social workers and counseling sessions. And this is really where we as an organization see our role to try and intervene and offer that support if necessary. So just know if you are a breast cancer patient, cancer can help you and cancer will support you. We also have two fantastic Facebook groups, one for caregivers called Caring for the Caregiver, as well as one called Cancer Champions of Hope, which is basically a fantastic survivors group where survivors of different backgrounds are coming together and offering support and supporting each other through their journey. Thank you for your time. And I hope that you'll all take better care of yourselves. We need you. I'm going to end off now with a fantastic video that we also launched that's going to help you know how to do that self-breast examination I spoke about. Enjoy and take care of yourselves. And thank you for this opportunity to talk women's health in October Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It might not be a lump. It might be puckering, dimpling, breast or nipple changes, swollen glands, or yes, it might be a lump. Breast cancer is the most common cancer among South African women. So it's important to examine your breasts on the same day every month, seven to 10 days after your period. If you no longer have your period, choose a day that's easy to remember. To do a proper breast self-examination, follow these three easy steps. In front of a mirror, check for any visible breast changes in four different positions. First, with your arms at your sides, then overhead, then firmly pressing your hands on your hips, and lastly, bending forward. Lie down on your back with a pillow under your right shoulder and your right hand under your head. Starting below the collarbone, make small circles by pressing down, moving clockwise towards the nipple. Remember to check under the armpit. In the shower, check your breast with the soapy left hand and fingers, using the same technique as lying down. Always repeat these three steps on both sides. Tell your doctor if breast cancer runs in the family. After the age of 40, make sure you have a mammogram every year. Cancer care centers offer clinical exams by professional nurses. Early detection can save your life.